Let's go. You should always stay focused. What's up, people? What's up? What's up? We are back in the Scorpion universe. How y'all doing? I know it's been a while. It's been a minute, but I told you I was going to be back, and we are back. I hope y'all doing good. I'm doing good. I mean, <clears throat> it's been what? Uh, it's been a month now. It's a month. Easy. That I haven't played basketball. You know, all the community centers are closed because of COVID-19 and you know you just stay home you do your workouts and hopefully this whole thing uh, will allow us to play ball again you know today right now at this very moment it's snowing so um, hopefully man I mean good news will come and we'll be back on the court very soon hopefully keep our fingers crossed in the meantime, guys, you know what we about, what we're going to do. We're going to talk ball. What we have today. What do we have today? We have me doing my little training. I got a little footage that I got back uh, last summer, this summer that just uh, that just went by. And <clears throat> I wanted to share that with you because so that we can talk about the essence of the workout. I know guys, some guys, yeah, no, no, we, I train, I train, you know, I go in the park and, you know, take a few shots and work on my handles and stuff like that. And, and every time I ask the question, I'm like, oh, how hard do you work out? Do you train because you just want to see the bat, the ball going into the basket or do you train like it's like game seven or you, you like down? 10 or you're down 20 points and you try to make the comeback and sometimes people are giving me that look like what well training is some it is a way right training is a way that allows you to to forget what you're doing on the court which means the workout the training allows you to forget uh your handles you just do it right yeah, it allows you to forget how to shoot the ball because you've been shooting like 100 and 200, 300 times a day that you don't have to think about it. That's what the, that's what the workout is about. Because if you don't train, but you're a good basketball player, eventually <clears throat> you'll have good good nights or good good weeks, you know. Shots are dropping. You feel that your handle is like uh, super tight and... You know, and you, you've been like, uh-uh, crossing fellow out, crossing girls out. You'd be like, oh, I, I'm feeling it this week. But what about next week or the week after, you know? Or that week where you feel like, I don't feel my shot. I don't know, man. Something's wrong with my handles. I feel like every time I try to go left, I lose the ball or I lose control. I don't feel like it's tight enough. Well, this is where the workout comes in. This is where the training kicks in. Because by doing it and doing it and do it over and over again, this is something that you have to less think about during a game. I give you an example. You know, me, me and my boys back, back then, you know, we had those, those games so many times that were down, let, let's say, uh, three on three, right? Play three on three game 11 and we're down and we're down big we're we're down <clears throat> 9 2 9 3 right so the team the other team needs two points to win the game right and everything is going their way every shot is going their way even the shot that you know is not supposed to go in is going in and you'd be like oh man 9 2 and then one of us, if either it's Uncle Drew, Sonny Black, myself, and you know, or Steve O, and we'd be like, "Yo, guys, let's go, man, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go." And there, and then this is the one shot that they were supposed to make, and they don't make it. Right? Sounds like okay. So what else? Then we grab the ball, we grab the rebound, and either one of us three will say automatically, okay, guys, this is the time for the greatest comeback ever. And 90% of the time, guys, I, I, I don't lie to you. I'm not lying to you. 
we do exactly what we say. We, we do the comeback and we win the game. In order to do that, what exactly happens? Of course, the level of play was here and then when there, you know, defense, offense, everything, name it. Everything became so sharp, tight on point. The switch on defense and everything comes on point. And then points are, are being put on the board, you know, 9-3. Ninth, ninth, five, and then nine, six, nine, six, and then boom, nine, nine. What exactly happened is that we were able to focus on what needed to be done to win the game. And it's the little things that you need to think about. The switching on defense, the pick and roll, you know, the, the, the moving without the motion, without the ball, you know? And if ever you have the, the, the and then if, ever the the opportunity of beating your guy one-on-one -on -one, well you don't think about okay you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna fake him left and then put the ball behind my mind between the legs so i can go right you just do it but if your training didn't allow you to visualize this situation to put you in that situation so when you do it you just do it right you just do it Pop, pop, and then you go right, and then you go for a layup. But if you start calculating what exactly you're going to do, you're wasting time. It's like one, two, three, and then you have four seconds, and then that's five seconds. Your your defender is is not afraid of on um, of putting pr pressure on you because you're taking that much time to take a decision. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm just I'm just gonna bump him a little bit more to get to get him off his rhythm. You catch the ball, pump fake, whoop, whoop, and then you go. But by doing all these things repeatedly, when the time comes, when you are exactly at that moment, there's nothing else you need to think about. You just go exactly to the motions. Because you've been doing it and doing it again. And not only that you've been doing it and doing it and doing it again. You've been doing it exactly the same way you would do it in the actual game. And this is where the difference comes in. I see a lot of guys training. <clears throat> Sometimes during the summer when I arrive to the court, I see guys working out. they training. They, they're, doing, they're going through their motions. But... They're working on slow motion. They're just like, pam, 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 pam. Ah, oh, jump shot. And they, and they, 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 they try to keep every little movement that they're doing so perfect so that the ball goes in and you'd be like, yo, I got this. But you've been working on a slow, slow, very slow motion that obviously... If we try to if we try to speed it up a little bit more, that person, that guy or that girl will be off his track. Because it's going a little too fast. And then he'd be like, okay, why why are you training so fast? Why am I training so fast? You, I should be asking you why you be training so slow. Cause I've never seen a game. Whether it's one on one, two on two, three on three, I've never seen a game playing that slow. The speed that you're using now, that's the speed you use to to to, to just go to your motion as a warm up before the workout. <clears throat> after an hour, after an hour, if you've been training like that, you're just wasting your time. If after an hour you're still at that same speed, that same space, that, that same uh, pace, you're, waste, you're wasting your time. There, there's nothing you can, you, that, that can come out out of, this, out, of, out of this training or workout you want to call. There's nothing good you can withdraw from that. There's nothing. Because when the game is going to start, everything will go way too fast for you. I remember this guy, man, I, I, I see him like train, train, train all the time. He's always there three, four hours, but the man doesn't break a sweat. I know there's people that, you know, they don't sweat that easy. 
you are under the sun for three hours. You're supposed to at least have some, you know, a little bit of sweat. Nothing. Nothing. And then when we're playing the game, he was like, oh, man, you guys are doing this. And then well, you try to do it fast and this and that. Because this is how the game is played. This is how the game is played. This is how you prepare your, your body and your mind to face the music. Because the game, the game doesn't have a slow pace. It will never have a slow pace. Even though when, when they say, okay, they will try to slow the pace on offense, doesn't mean that the guys are just like, you know, chilling and walking. Everybody, they're still running, but they're just like waiting for the right opportunity to, to, to put the ball in the basket. The importance of workout, of the training, it's not only that your skill asset gets sharper, but your mind gets sharper as well. So when you're down 9-2 and you're trying to make the greatest comeback ever, you don't think about your skills. You think about putting the ball in the basket, and this is where you elevate your game. You elevate your mind so that you, you only focus about what's going on right now. There's no time about thinking about how you're going to dribble the ball and this and that because you're wasting time by doing that. And you're giving your defender opportunity to stop you. Give the ball back and eventually you lose the game. That's the last thing you want to do. So yeah, workout is super important because it allows you to take your mind even further than the game. You can see things before it happens. And you don't have to think about, okay, I have the ball in my hand. I have to, you know, like roll the ball and everything. Some guys, sometimes when they, they off, they shoot and then they're looking at their hands. It's not your hands, bro. It's not your hands. It's just that the last two weeks, you had, a, you had a good run the last two weeks. But this week, this whole thing was catching, was catching up to you. And now you can't do it. This week, you can't do it. Because just a lack of workout, lack of training. And it, I don't care if you're pure talent, if you're pure skills. If you don't train, your pure talent will catch up to you and then you will meet your match. Because there's guys out there, girls out there who are super hungry. And then your skills that people say, oh, he's ahead of his time. But if you're not training, you're no longer ahead of your time. No longer ahead of your time. And everyone is catching up to you. And now you're asking yourself questions. You're looking at your hand. I've been missing shots for the last two weeks. Training is boring, guys. Trust me. Training is boring. There's nothing fun about the workouts because you do the same thing over and over again. You know, you just go to the fundamentals and... Lord knows how people don't like going to the fundamentals, but the fun, the mentals are fundamentals. Boring as it is, if you don't go to your fundamentals, you want to skip steps, it will catch up to you. Not now, maybe later, even when you're at my age, and you're going to be like, man, it's too late for me to correct that. It's never too late. But do the fundamentals right do the boring stuff. Do the boring stuff, the stuff that people don't want to do, and you will see the difference. Even right now, if you're like a God gift and talent, if you train yourself with the fundamentals, the boring stuff, the results will be incredible. And pe people will notice you. Because why? Not, not only that you are a pure gifted talent, but you have your fundamentals on lock. All right. So I know for some of us, we don't have access to a gym and everything. But guys, do, do your workouts at home, your push-ups, your setup. If you have a way to do the cardio, do it. Stay sharp. All right. Stay sharp. I know it's hard right now. Winter is coming. Well, it's already there. It's snoring right now. Do your workouts. Stay in shape, guys. Drink a lot of water. Take your vitamins. 
you know, don't fall into that, that, that trap of eating junk food all the time because there's nothing to do. If you have a little space at home, use that space, do your push-ups, your sit-ups, squats and everything. You know, if you can dribble the ball in the garage, do it. You know, you, you, you'll, you'll find a way to, to get your shot back if ever the gyms are open. And hey, if we have to wait till summer, then we'll have to wait till summer. But guys, don't let up. All right, so I'm going to roll the tape and hopefully it's going to motivate you because hey, it was summertime at that time. So um, where are we guys? We are in the Scorpion universe. So I'm going to see you guys. I haven't forget you guys. I'm here. We're back and trust me, I'll be back soon. All right.
Bonne joie. 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 B